Today I'm sharing my top 11 drugstore lipsticks for fall, and some of them definitely cross over into winter as well. There are some shades that just kind of stay trendy through this time of year. If you're new here, hi, I'm Miranda. Welcome to my channel where I talk all things budget, beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. All right, we're about to put my lips through the ringer because I will be doing lip swatches and arm swatches of each shade. So let's just get into it. Rest in peace, lips. <laughs> All right, let's start off with this first shade, which is going to be more of a neutral nude color. In the fall season, I do like to wear a little bit heavier eye makeup, especially with darker colors, a little bit of a smoky vibe, and neutral lip shades will balance out that type of look. So I do have a couple in this roundup. The first being one of the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Lips in All Natural Nude. This is a really great kind of medium beige shade. It's got a hint of peachiness to it, but not too much. And if you remember correctly, the Healthy Lips Liquid Lipstick did top my list of top 10 favorite liquid lipsticks in my collection right now. They do give give you a nice matte finish, but they are super comfortable and nourishing to the lips. This is one of those shades that kind of just matches everything, so it is a staple for me year round, but especially for fall when I am kind of playing up my eyes. If you're trying to stay away from matte liquid lipsticks this season, I don't blame you. My lips have been super dry as well. So if you want something a little bit more balmy, I suggest the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shines. These are like my favorite lip gloss at the drugstore. They are so moisturizing on the lips, incredibly comfortable, but they still give you a good wash of color. So this is the shade Pink Mocha. Again, another neutral that I think will pair with a lot of different different looks. Now obviously because it's a gloss, the shine and the color is not transfer proof, but when I'm wearing this I kind of treat it as a lip balm so I do touch up throughout the day. So another great neutral to add a little bit of color whether you're doing kind of a fresh face look or you want to balance out a heavy eye look. Next up, we have a bullet lipstick that is a classic at the drugstore. I'm talking about the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick. This is in the shade Spice For Me, which is a very wearable burnt orange. This shade is like the epitome of fall, in my opinion. It reminds me of the fall foliage you see outside. But because it's a little muted, it's not like a full-on orange, I find it to pair with a lot of different looks without overpowering the face. It's not completely transfer proof, but I do find it to last a good while. You might need to touch up in the innermost portion of your lips after eating. Next up, we have a lip product that I've been wearing a lot recently, but I don't think I've actually spoken a lot about them on my channel. This is the NYX Lingerie Push Up Lipstick. It is a crayon style lipstick, and this particular shade, Seduction, is probably my most worn of the entire line. The best way I can describe it is sort of a terracotta shade. It's like a reddish brown, but still muted enough so that it's not super bright. This does give you a pretty flat matte finish. It's not uncomfortable for me, but I would suggest if you are struggling with dry lips to just put a little bit of lip balm before applying this. Exfoliate if you have a little patchiness. But otherwise, it is a very creamy glide-on formula. If anything, I feel that my lip lines are a little bit more smoothed out when I apply this. The really cool thing about this formula, which I'm really appreciating right now since I'm doing a bunch of lip swatches in a row, is that it has a cooling sensation. I think there are some fruit extracts or something at play here in the ingredients, but it just feels really nice when you apply. Red is one of my favorite lip colors to wear year round, honestly, but especially during fall and winter, it does have a little bit more of a festive feel to it. This is one of my absolute favorite reds to wear right now. It is the Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon in the shade Own Your Empire. I do have a whole video swatching this entire line, and I just gotta say, these lip crayons are amazing. They're a little bit softer and more creamy than the NYX one that I just swatched. And while it does dry down to a matte finish, it does not accentuate your lip lines or fall into your lip lines at all. This particular red is one of my favorites because it does have a blue base, so it's gonna make your teeth look very white. And in general, I feel that blue-based reds are a little bit more universal than warm reds in terms of looking great on different skin tones. As much as I love a matte red, there's something about a glossy red lip that screams holiday to me, so I did want to include a glossy option if red is your shade of choice. This is the Revlon Ultra HD Vinyl Lip Polish in the shade Cherry on Top. Now this one is a little bit warmer than the red we just applied before, and it does have a very glossy finish, but as you can see, we get all the pigment of a liquid lipstick, but with the high shine of a gloss. Not sticky at all, they feel very cushiony on the lips. Now again, because this is a glossy product, it is definitely not transfer proof, it's definitely not kiss proof, but this shade does leave a little bit of a stain 
stain to your lips so as it wears throughout the day you're never gonna completely lose color even when I eat with these on it never looks super uneven afterwards it just looks a little faded as you can see I'm wiping off that last one the Revlon red and it actually did leave quite the stain and I was wearing it for maybe three minutes <laughs> Now we're getting a little bit into vampy territory. These are some of my favorite traditional bullet style lipsticks right now. They're from Revolution Pro. They are new matte lipsticks. And this is the shade Vamped. It's a nice rich burgundy. It's kind of leaning a little bit purple. This formula does retain a little bit of a shine and stays feeling creamy on the lips. Again, you will get a slight stain with this deep shade. So even as it wears throughout the day and it fades a little bit, you'll still have a pretty even wash of color on the lips. I am a huge fan of brown lipstick shades. I am all for the resurgence of the 90s makeup trends. Besides thin brows, let's not bring that back. But this is the brown shade I've been wearing most often. It is the L'Oreal Signature Rouge Lipstick in I Stand. I'm obsessed with this formula. As far as matte liquid lipsticks go, this is what I've been wearing most often because of how comfortable it is. It's a very, very thin formula. It feels way more like a lip tint, if anything, but you still get a ton of color on the lips. Now this will tint your lips. It does act as a stain. So this is a long wear product. But because it is so liquidy, it kind of just melts into your lips. It does not feel like you're wearing anything at all throughout the day. Also, this is one of my favorite applicators when it comes to liquid lip products. It is so pointy, so you can really get that sharp lip line. Next up is one of the more surprising makeup launches of the year. Whenever I've tried Honest Beauty makeup in the past, it's been hit or miss, but I am a fan of their liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Fearless, and it is a perfect medium berry shade for fall. It's not too dark, it does not cross in to vampy territory. It's like the perfect balance between pink and purple to create that true berry tone. Honest Beauty is all about clean formulas, so if you are into the whole green makeup revolution, then this might be a great pick for you. This is also a very comfortable liquid lipstick. You do get a satin finish. It never dries down to a flat matte. It's not as long lasting as some of the other liquid lipsticks that I've featured in this video, but if comfort and a clean formula is up there on your priority list, then this is a great pick. Plus the shade is just gorgeous. I think the tone is at just the right level to be flattering on a range of skin tones. One of my favorite vampy shades to wear is Oxblood, so a very deep black and red as such. It also gives me kind of vintage 20 vibes, and on that note, this is the shade Vintage from the NYX Suede Matte Lipstick line. It actually does kind of remind me of like the Roaring Twenties, which we're getting into again this coming year. This is another comfortable matte formula. It doesn't dry down all the way, hence the Suede name. You get a more smooth, velvety finish on this, and it is pretty creamy me when you apply. I don't feel that this grabs on to any texture on my lips. And as far as Oxblood bullet lipsticks go, this applies the most evenly. Totally opaque in one swipe. When I think fall makeup in my head, this is what I imagine, this lip shade. All right, this last shade is not gonna be for everyone, which is why I saved it to the end. But I think fall is the perfect time to play around with non-traditional lip colors, even after Halloween. This is the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in the shade Brooklyn Thorn just sort of like a dove gray. It's somewhere on the spectrum between gray and purple with a little bit of a cool brown tinge to it. A very unique shade that definitely has a grungy feel to it but I love unique and gray tone shades like these. I think they make a very interesting statement and I usually pair them with a lighter eye makeup look. Like today my eye makeup is a little bit warmer than I would wear with this type of a cool shade. This is a fun way to make a statement that's not red for winter. I want more suggestions, so in the comments below, please tell me your go-to fall lipstick at the moment. Today's shout out goes to Mary. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where I test out a bunch of new drugstore makeup. I'll see you over there. Bye!